as I was saying, the editorial, the editor of the final call of Islam had said, and I'd like to quote him again, he was shocked with surprise to learn that six black men from the cotton fields of the southern part of the United States were being feted as kings by the Egyptians because they were Muslims. He was informed that the black man was the cream of the universe, the God and sole owner of the planet Earth. The following week, the next Saturday, that was that Saturday, the next Saturday, on August the 25th, 1934, the messenger goes on to explain about masonry. He says, O oh preachers, you foolish and blindfolded leaders, how long will you turn a deaf ear to the warning call of a law's messenger? Now it's important to understand here, in 1934, he asked the spooky preachers, the 10%, the rich slave makes of the poor, how long will you turn the deaf ear to the warning call of, quote, a law's messenger? So here in this paper, he's using the title of a law's messenger and set up abomination, churches that make desolation against the holy of holies. Know you not, O oh preachers, that you and your people are strangers in a strange land and have been misled by strangers, meaning white people, and these have caused you to despise and hate your own and love the worship of the whore, meaning the church. These same strangers take your own wisdom of a law and the knowledge of his temple with Solomon, your own black brother Muslim, gave you as a warning. They sell it to you after diluting and changing its name from Islam, freedom, justice, and equality to Freemasonry. But it is not Freemasonry here. It is free, meaning by Masonry. They change the name Muslim to Mason, and none must be called Muslim under the Masonic law until he pays a great sum of money for the 33rd degree. What would the peace be for the 360th degree, which is the whole circle. So here the messenger is criticizing the Masons also. He then goes on in part three of his warning to the black men of America. He says, Savior of lost sheep brother is not a spirit. Let us think for a moment. What is a spirit? Can nothing do something? The word spirit comes from a Latin word spiritus, which means courage, energy, the mind, the life of a person, which is made of water, gases, and stone. The word spirit confuses many poor lost brothers of Asia here in America. He then goes on to say, quote, Bible condemns spook. Just why are my people waiting for a spook to come someday and deliver them when the Bible condemns such belief? It teaches that God is a person, one who has power and force. Jesus called him the son of man. The same title is given by prophet Ezekiel. Now, if the last prophet is the son of man, just how did the preachers get the idea of teaching their followers to believe in a spook? So here the messenger rejects that spook God, that mystery God. Then the reformer Bernstein Sharif, she's the one that actually typed up the lessons of the Nation of Islam. Um, she was Masfar Muhammad's secretary. She wrote an article in here in 1934 called Reduced and Be Cured of Your Ailments. We Muslims of Detroit and elsewhere have learned through Prophet Far Muhammad's teachings that excess weight is the cause of pains in all joints such as rheumatisms, Headaches, chills, gripe, foot aches, toothaches, knee aches, back aches, etc. To avoid these things, it is very essential for one to be his or her correct weight. Now, the Muslim girls' training in general civilization class, which is a class set up by Prophet Far Muhammad for women and girls only, has a standard weight of 120 pounds and not over. She goes on to explain overweight person is unjust. We Muslims believe in freedom, justice, and equality in all things, regardless of whether they are great or small. Now, 
A person who is normal breathes three cubic feet of air per hour. An abnormally fat person breathes more than the normal amount of air per hour. And this person, in other words, is robbing you of the atmosphere of air. She goes on to explain, just to prove to you that Prophet Farad Muhammad is right, is right. Take, for instance, this picture. You are sitting beside a real overweight person, fat person. Notice how fast that person breathes and you will see that he or she breathes much faster than you. Therefore, that person gets more air than you do. The rule that the faster the fire burns, the more it destroys applies in the case above. Now, now we get to the article by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's little brother, Kalat Muhammad, the head investigator in 1934, who eventually became the Supreme Captain and sad to say eventually turned against his brother and tried to get the believers to go against Messenger Elijah Muhammad and began to slander his brother and even tried to have his brother physically killed. And in the attempt, he stroked out and mentally lost his life and eventually died. Okay. But when he was conscious, this is what he was teaching in the final call of Islam. He says, and I quote, When a person accepts Islam, his entire mental outlook is changed. This change of mind naturally causes changes in his behavior. I'm going to point out some of the psychological effects of the acceptance of Islam's teachings on our people here. White is evil. The very first thing that Islam does for the original man is to teach him that the black people are the cream of the universe, that all things in existence belong to him. He learns how ignorant he was in believing that black is evil. Islam teaches him that the white man is the devil. Then he goes on to explain, quote, The Muslim knows that the black people are the gods and power in the world today. Let me read that again. This is by Kalat Muhammad. He said in 1934, publicly, the Muslim knows that the black people, not just the black man, he said the black people are the gods. He has gods in a capital G, capital O, capital D, capital S. He put emphasis on it. That the black people are the gods, plural, and power. He put emphasis on power. He spelled it capital P, capital O, capital W, capital E, capital R, in the world today. He knows that the day of staying ignorant is over because Islam has taught him that the whole world is his home. He believes beyond all doubt that the white man's time is out, that the black man's time has come. He goes on to explain that he does not fear. Islam teaches that the Muslim has the whole Muslim world behind him with all of his righteousness, that the cause of a law will prevail. He has no doubt in his mind, but that within a short time he will have freedom, justice, and equality. And because of the numbers of his brothers all over the world, he has lost all fear of his enemy, does not fear death. Perhaps the most far-reaching psychological effect of the teachers of Islam is the abolishing of the belief of a life after physical death with his terrorists. So he rejects that concept of life after death. Then he goes on to explain, I quote, His scientific training exploded the spook myth, and he wholeheartedly, absolutely, and irre irrevocably accepts Islam. Then there's an article written by Lonnie Pasha titled Black Man, Father of All Humanity, that goes into Lost Found Miles in Lesson Number Two. It says, quote, According to the teachings of Prophet Farad Muhammad, the original black man has no birth record. He has been on earth trillions of years. He has no beginning nor ending. Then he goes on to explain, the idea in his mind of how to take an original man and woman and graft a white devil to torment the original nation, he is known in the Bible as John the Revelator. In order to carry out the experiment, Mr. Yakub, together with 59,991 others were exiled on the Isle of Peland, Bible name Patmos, Revelation chapter 1, verse 9. When these words were spoken in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, quote, And God said, Let us make man in our own image after our likeness. It was Mr. Yaku teaching his exiled followers. But Mr. Yaku repented that he ever made man, meaning the devil, as is stated in Genesis 6, 6. And it repented the Lord 
that he had made man, meaning the devil, on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. We are told by Prophet Far that in the year 8400 BC, 5 billion original people inhabited the planet earth. The population declined 200 million from 8400 BC to 1534 AD. The population of the world today is 4 billion 800 million people. Then he goes on to explain, white flour is of poor quality. White flour is flour that is robbed of its best and essential parts, and there is only left the starchy, starchy carule of the grain. Oft times, even that is burnt up by the hot steel cutters, therefore it is placed into sacks and thus rendered dead and devoid of all nourishment. So he teaches, don't eat white flour. Then he goes on to explain, Christianity is a fake and the devil is a snake. We no more will serve a spook God. We now know who the God is and who the owner of the planet Earth is. In fact, the radio telephone as well as all known inventions came from the original man's head, which first appeared as a thought. A, then he goes on about a merciless God. If this God that you have been calling yourself servant has been so merciful, why did he let your mothers die when you were babies, knowing that you could not properly care for? Why does he cause innocent men to serve the penalties for crimes they did not commit? Why does this God you serve let you and your children go hungry and naked? So here, under the questions and answers, and I close out with this, James Ali was asked a question by Mr. Bill Jones that says, Now, boy, you are talking nonsense. This sure is hell in this country. But listen, is it true that Muslims do not believe that there is a heaven up above the sun, moon, and stars? James Ali answered, Why, no. There is not a civilized man that does believe such lie. Where can a man go but right here on this old earth? Do not you know that you cannot live on any planet but the one you are on? Even after you die, your last breath, your breath does not go any further than this earth or sphere. So what I just read with you from, for y'all was some excerpts from The Final Call to Islam by Messenger Elijah Muhammad. It's crystal clear that in 1934, in August, they already believed and already had in their head the concept of the reality of the law of God. They was already teaching, uh, as they put in the paper publicly. Let me just read that one more time for those of you that may have missed it. The black man was the cream of the universe, the God and sole owner of the planet Earth. So this is what not Master Muhammad not just what Messenger Elijah Muhammad, this is what the believers of the nation of Islam was believing and teaching in the general public in 1934, that the black man was God, that the law was all of us. I leave you with the greeting words of peace, love, and paradise in the Arabic language. As-salamu alaykum, as-salamu shalom, peace, peace, family. The struggle continues.